We're with track coach Mike Heimerman, whose team opened the outdoor season last weekend at Lake Charles, goes to Ruston this Saturday for the Jim Mize Invitational at Louisiana Tech, and picked up another All-America award at the NCAA Indoors, 74th All-American in school history, Mike, 20th Indoors, Aaron Williams, I, I would imagine you're pretty proud. We're, we're ecstatic. You know, he had a, he had an okay meet by his standards. Uh, Coach Wesley Miller and I were talking, looking at some film. He had opened up the meet with a, just a decent jump in the 50 foot and some change. Second uh, jump was a run through, kind of wasn't right, right technically, so he just kind of ran through. Third jump was a monster jump. They called a foot foul. You know, on the film, it doesn't look like uh, like a foot foul, but it, you know, it's up to the officials and they called it. But uh, either way, still very ecstatic for him. To end up 14th in the country is, a, is just outstanding. And then while he was jumping indoors in the evening, that day both teams, men and women, went to Lake Charles, opened the outdoor season. How did it go at the Cowboy Relays? Well, for one day, we actually had some great weather. You know, it didn't rain. Uh, it was kind of windy. It was very sunny, so some of the kids uh, didn't hydrate properly. But uh, it was a big, long day for all the kids. We had multiple events for uh, every kid was in at least three events. Uh, we had some highlights. Uh, you know, Rochelle Bessard was in, did a, had right out of season best in the hammer and uh, had some better throws and warm ups. Same thing in the discus. She had two big foot fouls, a one was sector foul, and one was a foot foul. You know, great day for her. Uh, Javelin opened up really nice uh, with uh, Jessica Talley, uh, Ashley Aldridge, and then uh, Kelsey Frank, the new one. Uh, they, you know, they, they went two, three, four, and they're all at, uh, you know, Season best, or uh, well, of course, season best, but then uh, personal best. I think Jessica opened up with the personal best. So did Kelsey, and then Ashley was uh, within, uh, you know, without taking a couple years off, coming right back into it. And if you ask them, they, they weren't happy with the meet, which is fine. That's kind of what we want, especially at this time of the year. Uh, jumps, you know, Emmanuel Williams. He opened up his. Uh, it's been a year since he's competed, and uh, he opened up uh, in the long jump, 24 mid, and he had a pretty good day. Uh, banged up his knee a little bit, so uh, we took triple jump off because it's a long outdoor season. Uh, hopefully he's in outdoor nationals in June, so we didn't want to push too much. But uh, high jumpers had an extremely great day. Lawrence Wallace won the meet 6'8 and 3 quarter. Had a great attempt at 6'10 and some change. Uh, and then our two uh, young ladies, uh, Maui Burkhadley and um, Quanice uh, Jones out of uh, Ruston, they both cleared 5'5 five, five and had good attempts at 5'7. Almost both of them almost had it, so uh, you know it's kind of a, a good weekend for the, the field events. Sprinters is kind of since the relays meet, we had four by one, four by four, four by two sprint medley and distance medley, and we kind of had the teams kind of chalked up. And we had some good performances by some, and uh, some we, we didn't, but it's kind of what we uh, anticipated because we we're training through this meet. You know, since outdoor, con I mean indoor conference, we've kind of been training in on it, and because uh, we we want to run fast in May. So overall, it was a good weekend, and uh, you know, looking forward to building towards the Jim Eyes Invitational uh, Louisiana Tech this weekend, where we get a little bit more individualized again, and uh, we're just looking for some uh, just a nice meet. The outdoor uh, season now, outdoor weather. You got to be pleased about that. Yeah, well, we're just happy it's not raining. The rain's forecasted again for this weekend, but you know, we'll just hope that it uh, stays dry enough so we can get the meet in. But uh, yeah, we're just glad to be outside. The only thing that was bad is I forgot how long those meets are outside. So everybody had to get ready. For the, for the little bit warmer weather. You know, I don't want to complain because I'd rather have the warm than the cold, but uh, just got to get the body used to being outside for, you know, 10 hours again. So if you had to grade the first week of outdoors on a letter scale for each team, what would you give them? Uh, probably right now we're at a, a good strong C plus, maybe a low B minus uh, with some of the things and that I'm just being very, very harsh. You know, as coaches, we do that and we nitpick. Uh, but, you know, we got a long ways to go and the kids know that. And uh, I think a lot of them are up for the challenge and. Uh, and we got a new saying, we want to you know, eat at the end of the year and we're going to be hungry. And right now, a lot of the kids are hungry and uh, we're, hopefully that's the way it stays. They just wanna, always want to stay hungry and get better and better. Well, in track and field, you run on the curve, but obviously you don't grade on the curve. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.